I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my student. This is based on calculus chain rule application. The question here is an environment study of a certain suburban community suggests that the average daily level of carbon monoxide in the air can be modeled by the function C of P equals 2 square root of 0 0.5 P square plus 17 where C of P is in parts per million and population P is expressed in thousands. It is estimated that T years from now, the population of the community will be P of T equals to 3.1 plus 0.1 T square thousand. At what rate will the carbon monoxide level be changing with respect to time three years from now? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So, what we are given here is carbon monoxide level in parts per million is dependent on the population with this formula, square root of 0 0.5 p square plus 14. On the other hand, population is dependent on time and so we have another relation which is right there. So with time population is increasing, with the increase in population, carbon monoxide level is also increasing. So that's a real life situation. Let us see how to answer such a question. So now we want rate of change of carbon monoxide with respect to time. So, so we'll find d dt of c, but c is given with respect to population, correct? So how could we do it? Well, we'll use the chain rule to solve this. So we can actually differentiate c with respect to the population and the population function with respect to time. And this chain rule gives us the answer, clear? And all this should be done for t equals to 3, right? After 3 years. Is that clear to you? Correct? So to begin with, uh, let us find the derivative and then we'll substitute the values. Okay. So, so the derivative of this particular function is what? This is, uh, we'll do ddp of square root of 0 0.5 p square plus 17 times d dt of this function, which is 3.1 plus 0 0.1 t square. Is that clear? So that is what we need to do. So, so we get here. Derivative is half this to the power of minus half, which I could write as within the square root denominator, 0 0.5 p square plus 17 times derivative of inside function, which is 2 times 0 0.5 times p. Clear? So that is the derivative of the first part, the outer function times the derivative of inside function will be that is a constant so we get 0 0.1 times 2 let's write like this 2t right okay so that's what we get right so that becomes the derivative now we need to substitute the values and figure out the answer so what are the values we are looking for one is that if t equals to 3, what is p of 3 equals to? Let's see. p of 3 equals to 3.1 plus 0 0.1 times 3 square. So that is 9, 0.9, 0 0.9 plus 3.1 gives us a value of 4. So p of 3 is 4. So we know what this p is at 3. Time t is 3 for us. We know t equals to 3. 
So I think we have all these values. So we can now find the rate of change of carbon monoxide level. So we can write DDT of carbon monoxide when T equals to 3. So at this time, we also see that the population in thousands is 4. So we'll substitute these values, right? Okay. So you can simplify this a bit. You could, for example, 2 times half is 1. Okay. Anyway, we'll use calculator. So we have half here, and that is 1. So we're left with the value of P, which is 4, in the numerator. Right, divided by square root of 0 0.5 p square, which is 4 square, let me write 4 square, plus 70. And here we have 0 0.2 times t, which is 3. Okay, so it's better to simplify at times and then plug in the values and then write. So let me actually write this function again here. So we have dc over dt. We're trying to find what happens at t equals to 3. At that time, we found p is 4. The formula, you could simplify this, right? So, better to cancel this, 0.5 times 2, that is better. We get half of, we get p over 2 times square root of 0 0.5 p square plus 17 and that is 0.2t, correct? That is what it is. So, so let's substitute these values as we did here and then calculate, right? So we have 4 over 2 square root of 0 0.5 times 4 square plus 17 times 0 0.2 times 3. Right? So let's use calculator. We can do actually without calculator also. But anyway, so 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we get the numerator, which is, let's do like this, 4 times 0.2 times 3 equals 2, divide by 2. Then we'll divide by square root of all this, which is 0.5 times 4 square plus 17, which is equal to 6 over 25. 6 over 25. In decimals, we get this as 0 0.24. Okay. Now, the units are in parts per million, right? So, those are the units which you have to mention here. So, what we get here is a positive value. That means it is increasing at the rate of 0 0.24 parts per million per year, right? So in this case, per three years, because we've taken it on the period of three years, right? So it is, our answer will be 0 0.24 parts per million per three years. Correct? So that is how you're going to solve it. So it is important to note that we have a function which is dependent on population. Population is dependent on time and therefore we could apply the chain rule and get our answer. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.